Okay, so Houdini 18 came with the new Solaris context and the Karma renderer. And due to the beta status of Karma and how new Solaris is, the documentation isn't super robust at the moment. Um, so I've spent some time reading the side effects forms and tinkering around with this new context. And here are some things that I wish were in the documentation. Um, so I hope that this helps you get started with this new context. So when you first create a camera, it'll come in with a four by three aspect ratio. So come to this view tab in the camera node and you have this horizontal aperture and vertical aperture settings. Um, the numbers you input here determine the aspect ratio of your camera. So if you set this to 16 by nine, you will get a 16 by nine camera and you can multiply and divide these numbers by whatever you want as long as you maintain this correct aspect ratio. Beyond that, um, there's this new image view in the Solaris context. So normally number five would be the UV viewport for SOPS. In Solaris, it is this image view, which locks your display resolution to the resolution you set in your render settings node. So in this case, this Karma node, um, we're getting the 1920 by 1080 resolution instead of the full resolution of your viewport. Um, so that's really helpful for setting up your Karma node. Snapshotting is also pretty important for setting up your render. And by default, this memory toolbar option is turned off. Um, if you turn it on, you get this little guy and you can go to the snapshot dropdown and that'll give you these nine memories and you can name and add your add um, custom ones. But the way you use it is you click on the store snapshot and click on the number you want or click on it, name it, and it should appear here. So you have your list of snapshots. Um, so render regions, um, I'm not sure if this is an official feature or kind of a hacky way to get render regions, but after some experimenting and clicking around, I discovered that you can hold down your camera control key. So either like space or alt or whatever you have it mapped to. Um, and you can get this little region selector and that'll actually set a render region, which is super useful. But once you set a render region, if you come to your render settings and change it, so say change your pixel samples, it'll reset the render region. That was really frustrating, but I figured out that if you set your render region, and then come up to the camera controls and say native viewport camera, it won't change your camera position, but it will unlock your viewport from the camera. And then you can actually come in here and change these values and your um, render region won't get reset. So you can like actually use it. The only other thing was displacement, especially on grids, because in Mantra, if you try to render a grid with displacement, you'll often get those tearing artifacts between your polygons. Um, and the way that I have mitigated that in um, Mantra was to assign primitive normals instead of point normals. But if you try to displace geometry in Karma with primitive normals, it'll crash Houdini. So the way that I have found to fix that is point normals, because for some reason, trying to displace with primitive normals crashes karma. Um, so if you come here, assign point normals. Now, if I come here, with the point normals and assign this displacement material, I 
should be able to get an actual displaced grid. So I hope that helps you get started with Karma and Solaris. If you know anything might be useful um, about these contexts, please let me know.